Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of Faith to Faith. During this new series of programs, we'll be exploring the contemporary world of interfaith relations and its relevance in the 21st century. And we ask the big questions. Is peaceful coexistence really achievable when all faiths claim to have the truth? Why are sectarian conflicts between people of the same faiths so acrimonious? And is there an increasing secular militancy against faith-based lifestyles? We will look at the rise of so-called fundamentalist approaches to faith and investigate their impact on current perceptions of religion. We will also scrutinize the role of faith institutions, the media, the state, and corporations in shaping civil society's notion of what religion is. In a world which is both increasingly competitive and materialistic, and where resources are diminishing rapidly with rising economic uncertainty and no sign of reduction in poverty, how is faith taking on the challenge of dealing with the root causes of these problems? What are faith institutions doing about, say for instance, the continued exploitation and destruction of the environment? How are we dealing with infanticide, human rights violations, and the sale of arms, still one of the largest industries on the planet? It's not hard to conclude that we have a potential for increase in violence, war, conflict, and terror. Is there a role for interfaith activism on the world stage? The Interfaith Network for the UK says its way of working is firmly based on the principle that dialogue and cooperation can only prosper if they are rooted in respectful relationships which don't blur or undermine the distinctiveness of different religious traditions. And how do we do this in a Western world that is struggling to find its own identity whilst trying to understand the plethora of new faiths that have arrived in such large numbers over the past half century or so? This series will look at what answers faith communities have for these and other big issues directly affecting our everyday lives and the future of our children. Tonight, we will begin with a kaleidoscope of views from believers about their belief. We hear the outgoing Archbishop of Canterbury's thought for the day on interfaith engagement. And we host a lively studio discussion about the need for interfaith with the Reverend Dr. Marks Braybrook, Imam Sajid, and Molana Musharraf Hussain.